Time is 1.31. And I'm still doing weather sign. I don't even know why. It's not even due tomorrow. I should be up this late anyway. It's 1.22 right now. I'm doing my physics homework. It's due in the morning. There's just too much homework to do and it's really hard to find time. Which is frustrating. I was little I used to study really hard because I grew up around a lot of people who were always really smart and all the parents talked about you know oh this kid went to Princeton this kid went to Columbia so I was always raised in that environment. I can't really think of a time when I wasn't like that. <laughs> I, I just can't imagine me not trying my hardest for this kind of thing you know they always told me I should try hard so you know there you are I'm here. So senior year is all about just getting into college and getting good grades. If you're going to get into an Ivy League school, anything less than an honors or an AP class is probably not going to work. And anything less than an A is probably not going to work. Now, I have seen students get in with some Bs on, on their transcript, but very often you want to be as close to a 6.0 weighted GPA as possible. And in most cases, you're going to have the 6.0. I signed up for more AP classes this year than last year for some reason. So start uh, with AP Lit. Fun. AP Physics C. AP English Literature and Composition. AP Psychology. Next is AP Spanish. Genetics. AP Calculus BC with Mr. Spitz. AP Latin 4. And AP European History. Just a standardized test scores, of course, have to be very, very high. They don't necessarily have to be perfect scores, um, but they have to be, you know, very, very strong scores. Summer of sophomore year, my mom sent me to Yale Academy during the summer, which was an SAT course that you took on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 9 to 4. It's basically a school day, but just SAT prep. Three days a week over the summer for the entire summer. I mean, I did okay. I was okay with it, but then I was like, okay, let me take it again. So I went to SAT prep, and then I took it in May, and I got a perfect score. So it was like, yay. Uh, this year, a lot of things changed, and some of my friends started competing more and doing more stuff. To get into college. Some of it's competition, I don't like to think of it that way, uh, with all these other AP students, nerd herd people. Half the grade will probably help you out if you need help, but then there's always the people who don't want to give you their work if they've tried hard on it and they don't want to help you if you're having a hard time, because whatever puts them ahead of you is good for them. I really think until 11th grade people were definitely more cooperative, but then after that People started thinking, what if my friends get into my dream school and I don't? And then they freak out and then, you know, they forget that they're in a community and they get more competitive and try to, like, beat each other out. So, it's a shame. There are only so many slots at every top-notch college like some of them only have less than 2,000 people and obviously there are thousands of people who are qualified and amazing and brilliant and they'll do just as well wherever they go so when you look at the numbers of who's accepted and deferred and rejected and you try to make sense of it but the general consensus is it doesn't make sense I know it doesn't really matter where I go to college but because in the end I'm just gonna try and make myself happy well, I think it's made me a really determined person. If I want something, I'm not going to give up for it. Like, even if that means I have to stay up all night just to get something done, it's not going to scare me away. I'm going to keep coming. I guess you could say that has connected me with a lot of people. I meet a lot of people that I probably wouldn't have met under other circumstances uh, because they're always striving the same way I am. In the end, I just want to see all my grades and academics pay off so I can have a successful life and career. The most important thing I think it's taught me is to not procrastinate, because like obviously after middle school I still had those tendencies, but this year definitely and last year I just don't procrastinate anymore. I haven't thought about it because I, I haven't been able to live without the stress and competition for a while now. I'll probably make up more time to reconnect with people that I've lost touch with recently because all I do is, you know, type my essays and study. So maybe after school I'll go out and grab 
ice cream or get a coffee with someone. Obviously, prom's coming up, graduation, Disney, so I'm excited for that. Despite where we go to college, we're still going places and there's nothing that can stop us. 